Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to do this video for you today. I recently did a fine jewelry collection video and I know a lot of you guys want me to talk about each piece in great detail, but today I decided I could get into detail with my most used pieces, the fine jewelry that I love the most, that I wear the most. So today it's your lucky day. I'm gonna talk about everything in detail, why I love them, what they mean to me, um, a little bit about the specs. We're talking about Cartier, Van Cleef, Audemars Piguet, lots of diamonds, all of that good stuff and more, so let's get into it. Today I get to film in my house because it's empty here. I love when it's empty. So let's just get started on my everyday pieces that I wear. So I did do a fine jewelry collection with you guys, for you guys. It's something that has been highly, highly requested on my channel, which is so weird that it really did not get a lot of views. I think it's because with these, a lot of these collection videos, I don't talk about each item in big detail. I'm just really not that comfortable talking about everything and all these luxury pieces. These collection videos are, you know, a part of this YouTube culture. They're a little bit out of my comfort zone because it's just like, look what I have, look at it all. Oh. Uh, I know you guys love it, so I do want to do it. I enjoy doing it, but it's like there are times that it's uncomfortable. But I figured, you know, with my everyday jewelry that I wear all the time, that you guys see me wearing all the time in my videos, I figured those are pieces I could definitely talk to you guys about in detail. So let's get started. So I'm gonna start with one of my absolute most favorite pieces of the bunch. I'd say out of this whole bunch, there are three that are the top, okay? So this is one of them, and this is a part of my wedding set, and this is my diamond ring. Should I talk about the details of the ring? I guess I could. Um, I don't have like the gem scan with me, but I know it's incredible quality. So it is a very nice big stone. This is a four carat round diamond ring. It's exactly four carats. It's like three, nine, six or something. Basically four carats, right? So it's E color. D, E, and F are completely colorless. Even some Gs are still, they still look colorless, but D, E, F are like literally completely colorless, definitely to the naked eye. I'm not a gemologist. I've just been educated to some degree with diamonds. Really, this is obviously one of my absolute favorite pieces. It's really my dream ring. I love all diamond shapes. I really, really do. But for me, nothing beats a round diamond. Oh, and it's, sorry, I don't think I mentioned that it's brilliant cut, or is it ideal? What is it? Okay, I don't know, but it's it's a very good faceted cut. Whatever this is, it's I think like the most faceted. Cut and clarity and color, it's just like a match made in heaven for diamonds. So this is like the first part of my wedding set and it's my absolute favorite, favorite piece. I really wanted it to be simple. I always told my husband, I wanted like the stone to speak for itself. I was not that girl that was like sending photos and stuff like that. I definitely showed him what I liked because very early on in our relationship we talked about getting engaged and stuff like that so I, I would always just be like oh let's go into Tiffany's let me show you what I like I definitely hinted to him he knew the styles that I liked I also really loved cushion cut with the halo on it but I feel like if you have like a really beautiful stone you really don't need the halo although the halo is magnificent so definitely gorgeous on a beautiful stone but personally if it's like a nice size beautiful stone I like it on its own so I've been talking a lot that is that on that um, next up is also out of the top three another one of my absolute favorite favorite pieces which is my eternity band this is my diamond eternity band best for last so these are almost 40 pointers so these are also just shy of of 40 points like 0 0.40 just so you can gauge the size like there's obviously one carat half carat and then when you get into eternity bands there's like 30 pointers 20 pointers 10 pointers um, even smaller than that, which are like beautiful, nice, thin eternity bands. Um, and this is just a little bit larger. This is 39 points, almost 40 points each. Also really good white colorless stones. Beautifully set. Not too much metal. 
the first, this has been reset. The first time this was set, it was way too much metal, really, really bulky, which kind of made it look huge, but like just huge with metal around it. And that really takes away from the beauty of the diamonds. You know, you need to have enough metal to support the stones, but not too much to overpower the stones. Someone was asking me about this stone and really admiring it. And I said, you know, if I had to choose one or the other, I don't know which one I would choose because, you know, sometimes if I'm just like running around doing errands and stuff like that, I'll just throw on just this band on my left hand, just wear just this, and it's just like such an elegant, beautiful jewelry piece, and it's kind of like all you need. Um, I definitely do love wearing them together. Most days, this is how I wear it. I wear the stone on my left hand and then the eternity band on my right hand. You know, for an everyday look, this is, this is how I wear, and I absolutely just love the beauty and elegance of these pieces together. All right, next up is another eternity band. This is the last eternity band. Then we're gonna get into other stuff. This is another really, really gorgeous eternity band. If I remember correctly, these are 0.46. So quite large, um, not quite 50 pointers, so not quite half carats, like four, six each stone. And these are emerald cut diamonds, also completely colorless, beautiful. And I will link uh, where I got my diamonds below. These diamonds are by Diamonds by Adam on Instagram. And this eternity band is by Drake Custom. And I will link them down in my description box. Um, but yeah, this is just absolutely gorgeous. I probably should have cleaned it before this video because the thing with emerald cut, and I absolutely love emerald cut, and if you saw my fine jewelry collection, you'll see I have a stunning emerald cut diamond, and I absolutely love that. And chances are one day I will wear that more. Like when I'm older, um, maybe I'll wear that more often. Um, but the thing with emerald cut is that it's it's a flat surface. It's not faceted. They have to be very, very good quality stones to look good. And it's easy to get handprints and fingerprints and kind of like just a cloudiness around it just because it's such a flat surface. So you always kind of, I'm always kind of, when I'm wearing this, just, just going like this, you know? But it's just, honestly, this is just absolutely gorgeous, classic forever. So the way, like I said, the way that I usually wear my rings is like this. One on one hand, one on the other hand. But some days, if I'm more dressed up or if I'm going out at night, I will wear my rings like this. I will wear the Eternity Band first, then the Solitaire, and then I will wear this on my right hand. This is like when I'm more dressed up, more makeup, just more dazzled, you know, more glam. And I love the look of these two together. This is just such a glam, fun look that I love wearing when I'm going out and being just a little extra and a little more glam. Let's get into my Van Cleef and Our Pals jewelry. I would say my most worn Van Cleef item and my favorite really is this. Um, it's my favorite for multiple reasons. First of all, this is, I made a video about this. This is my Magic Alhambra White Mother of Pearl with white gold. And in that video, I talked about this and I talked about my Magic Alhambra Green Malachite on a long gold chain. And that's also such a gorgeous piece, but this, this I would say is even more of, of a favorite of mine just because first of all, I love that mother of pearl is just like an, a good everyday piece. Um, it's not so fragile like malachite and other stones and it's such a good piece for every day. I love the magic size because it's a little bit bigger than the vintage Alhambra size which is quite small and it's just absolutely stunning for every day. It's easy to wear, it's not flashy, it's classy, it's sophisticated, it's beautiful, and you can clasp it up on two different lengths. So you have the top loop for the longest length, and then there's like another loop here to make it a little bit shorter. If you're, you know, wearing something that's a little more high cut, it's nice to kind of bring it up and make it a little shorter, but I usually wear it the regular way. just adore it. Just 
stunning. I'm just like so, so happy with this. And I love that it's from my husband, which is part of the reason that it's one of my favorite Van Cleef pieces. And I'm so good for every day, just so functional and perfect for my lifestyle. Next is this gorgeous uh, black onyx with a small diamond in the middle. So Van Cleef does this diamond vintage Alhambra necklace every year. They change the colors every year. So I think this year, 2020, it's celestial blue. So it's like a deep blue color with the diamond in the middle. And I love this like as an everyday piece because it's yellow gold, but it's not so big like the magic size, like the other one I showed you. In yellow gold, magic Alhambra necklaces come on a very long chain. A large perlay piece to hold the pendant, which is stunning and beautiful, but just too much for every day. So I love this yellow gold piece for every day. I love a smaller yellow gold pendant for every day. It's the black onyx, which really stands out. And I love the little diamond for just like that extra detail in the middle. It just makes it a little less standard Van Cleef, which like I just love. And I know that my, my white gold magic Alhambra necklace is very classic and standard, uh, popular Van Cleef piece. They're all really popular. It's just, honestly, it's just my taste. I just love that about this. Um, I prefer it over just the plain color for the Magic Alhambra. And again, I do love that it's yellow gold in this color. And this also has the two loops. So you can, just like I said with the other one, you can make it shorter or just like the regular length. And this is just a little bit thicker because it does have the diamond. It's a bit of a thicker pendant than the usual vintage Alhambra pendant, um, which is much thinner. I think it's like half the width. It's just a little bit more substantial, but overall, same vibe. Also, I don't mind mixing metals at all. I do not mind wearing white gold with yellow gold. Does not bother me at all. So I don't care. I will wear like yellow gold with white gold, rose gold. I love it all. How pretty. Just, just beautiful, simple but still like a piece. It's still like just very pretty, sophisticated, classy, gorgeous, all of it. So this is another everyday piece. Okay, let's talk watches. So I told you that there were three things that were like my top favorite pieces of my entire fine jewelry collection, my entire collection period, and that is this beautiful solitaire stone, this stunning eternity band, and this. <laughs> My Audemars Piguet, Audemars Piguet, I never know the proper way to pronounce it, solid gold, rose gold, diamond bezel, royal oak. And this is in 37 millimeter. Um, I did a dedicated video to this watch and literally nobody watched it. <laughs> but this is literally such a sick watch. This is a bad bitch watch, okay? I'm just calling it what it is, that is what it is. This is a watch that I was obsessed with for so long. I just, I absolutely needed to have this watch. I was dreaming about it for like a year before I got it. There are so many cool details about this watch. I love like the skeleton detail in the back, like the movement and all of that. And this is just straight up goddamn gorgeous. <laughs> That's what it is. It's an AP. It does not get better than this. So I think the three major watch brands are Patek Philippe, Audemars Piguet, and Rolex. And I know there's a wide variety of beautiful luxury watches that have really good reputation in the watch world, like super reputable, the long history of watchmaking that a lot of collectors get. But I kind of compare it to like the designer world. There's a lot of amazing high-end luxury fashion designers out there. There's Prada, there's Bottega, Saint Laurent, Gucci, the list goes on and on. But when you think about like the fashion hierarchy, it's kind of like Hermes, Chanel, 
Louis Vuitton, those three fashion houses. So the same kind of goes for watches. Just in my knowledge and experience and research that I've done, I mean, I have met a lot of people in the watch world, especially while researching this watch, and that's pretty much the general consensus with the watch experts. I didn't make that up. That's just like what I've learned along the way. Before I even knew that AP was like the hottest watch on the market, especially the Royal Oak, I just straight up was obsessed with this watch. I don't know why or how, I don't even know where I saw it, but I was obsessed with it. This is a very, very hard watch to get. There's like waiting lists for these watches, especially here in Toronto. It's not that easy to get. I did see it in Miami, but even when I saw it in Miami, it was the only one in the AP boutique at the shops of Val Harbor. It was the only one, 37 millimeter. It does come in different sizes. It comes in the men's size. Um, 37 is kind of mid-size. The smaller size is 33 and I love mid-size. I'm not into like big oversized watches for women. I personally think that trend is over. Sorry, just doing the usual tangent that your girl Maytel does. I bought it myself. It's literally the most spectacular piece ever. Bam. And that's the vibe. Another piece that I wear quite often is my really, really gorgeous tennis bracelet. I love the simplicity of this bracelet. I love the sophistication of this bracelet. I love the size. I think these are like 20 pointers, um, maybe even smaller, maybe even 15 pointers. I, I really don't know. But for a tennis bracelet, you do not need huge diamonds. When you start getting into huge diamond tennis bracelets, it starts looking really fake and it kind of looks like those Instagram accounts and sponsored ads that sell like the cubic stuff. That's what it starts looking like when you get too big. This is just stunning. I usually wear it on the same wrist as my watch. I wear them together. It clips in here and then there's like added safety clasp here. Um, and just together is just absolutely a dream. An absolute dream. These are my gorgeous diamond earrings. They are pretty good quality. I don't know if they're as colorless as my, my diamond rings. I think with uh, diamond earrings, you can afford to go a little down in terms of all of that stuff because you don't really see it. It's just like a nice little pop of sparkle for your ears. They are each one and a half carats. They're just beautiful and simple but not simple you know what i mean they are diamonds after all but they're not over the top um they're not humongous you know again like just with diamond earrings too when you go too big they just start looking really fake like you got them from the drugstore or something and it's not very common obviously to have huge diamond earrings but you know you do see some people going really big like three carats per ear i think for my face and my earlobe that's too overpowering i think this is perfect it's still a big size it's perfect for my face i've got kind of a small face. Um, I love just wearing my hair back and just rocking these diamonds. And they're still like beautifully cut, beautiful quality, and just like a very good everyday piece. This to me is so classy, and I love this whole vibe, like what I'm wearing, just like a winter white, a cream colored, an off white, um, just with a pair of diamonds. Does it get classier than that? I personally love this vibe. I think it's just complete sophistication. And you know, if you guys have been subscribed to me and if you guys are following me on Instagram, which I really hope you are by now, you can see how my style varies all the time every day. I love fashion across the board. I love streetwear. So some days I'll wear like a big pair of eccentric hoops or like a fashion statement De La Renta earring or like, you know, classic diamond earrings. I just 
I'm just so into so many different vibes of fashion and I love that about myself. I love that you can't pin me into one style. I'm not like capsule wardrobe. I am across the board and that's why I have so much fun with fashion and like when I'm feeling like I want to be like that classy, understated, super sophisticated, this is what I go for. I just love this vibe. I think it's beautiful, elegant, classic, just like I described all the pieces here today. Same reasons why I absolutely love these diamond earrings. Okay, let's just get into my last pair of earrings, which are these beautiful pearls. These are small little pearls. I don't know much about pearls. I think they're like freshwater pearls. I don't think they're like the kind of pearls that are like thousands and thousands of dollars, but they're just still beautiful classic pieces. I love wearing these the same way that I love wearing my diamonds. It's just a matter of what mood I'm in. Sometimes like if I'm wearing like kind of like a Chanel vibe, um, I'll pop in some pearls. I do have like a costume Chanel pearl necklace that I got back in the day. You know, I told you guys that's not really stuff I really buy anymore, but the stuff that I have, obviously I still wear it. Um, so if I'm wearing like my costume pearl necklace from Chanel, sometimes I'll complement it with these. Clean, classy, and classic and again same vibe as the diamonds like I love just wearing them when my hair is pulled back in a bun in a ponytail I can make them casual I can make them classy usually I do reserve the pearls for like more classy outfits but I like the fact that I have the option to go both ways with them because they are just they're so simple and just elegant that they kind of work with everything and I love that about them and they were a gift from my friend whose parents were in the jewelry business so I really scored on these and I love them I've been wearing them for years okay last but not least my two Cartier bracelets which we'll talk about one at a time let's start with this one which is extremely banged up this is my Cartier Love Bangle with the four diamonds in white gold. And this is very, very banged up because I wear it every day, as you can tell. Now, I actually have a matching one in yellow gold. If you were following me on Instagram back in the summer, you will know that this came apart. The gold, the yellow gold came apart in my car and went under the car seat. So I had to go to like an auto body shop who actually disassembled my front driver's seat and took the actual seat out of the car to retrieve half of my love bangle. Honestly, the thing about these love bangles is they're not all made the same. This is great. Um, yeah, Cartier came through on this one, but before this one, I had two other um, just no diamond love bangles that I got back in the day. I got into those bracelets early. And I'm not trying to say I was the first because I definitely wasn't, but I definitely was on the Cartier Love Bangles super, super early. So like, and very young also to have like expensive pieces on my wrist, but back then they weren't obviously as expensive as they are today. So I had the two regular Love Bangles, yellow and white, without the diamonds, and they weren't on the hinge, so they just had this screw, and it would like just pop off every now and again, and I'd always have to take it back to Cartier. This one does not give me trouble. The other one I don't wear because it does give me trouble. I do need to get it fixed, but yeah, just like I love it for every day, and I just like that it has the diamonds. Actually, I also love the Love Bangles with the 10 diamonds, um, but this is four, so it's, you know, two on the top and two on the bottom. It's white gold and it's a size 17 and it's great. This is great, I'm really happy with it. It's, I never take it off, ever. Um, next is the, je, je, how do you say this? Jus in Clue, yellow gold with diamonds. This can come off uh, and this has the diamonds around the, so this is like made, this is made to look like a, a nail head. And this one has the diamonds around the nail head and around the tip of the nail. I just think it complements the love bangle so beautifully. But yeah, I, I love the three together, but lately I just wear the two together and I do love them. Yeah, these are basically all the pieces that I really do wear every single day. I know with my full fine jewelry collection, I didn't go into detail about everything, but I thought 
for my pieces that I wear every day, it'd be a good opportunity to make a video and talk about the details of all my pieces and what I really do wear on a regular basis and why I love them. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really actually enjoyed making it for you, unlike the other videos, kind of like uncomfortable. This I really did enjoy making for you, so I really hope you enjoyed it as well. If you liked it, please give it a like. Make sure to comment because I absolutely love reading all your comments. I love you guys so much, you know that, and you also know I'll be back in a couple days with a really great video, so make sure you check back in with me. I cannot wait to see you. Until next time, bye for now.